Hi, this is Brinal from Receive26.com, and this is a step-by-step -step beginners guide to book train tickets using SBI online banking. So let's get started. To book a train ticket online, you will have to register it at IRCTC website. Just head over to IRCTC.co.in. Now sometimes this website takes too long to load a page or do not load a page completely. In that case, I will recommend you to try after some time or just simply wait. Now click on the, click on the sign, up bit, sign up link and you will be taken to a registration page. Just enter the basic information like your username, last name, first name, gender, date of birth, etc. Make sure that you enter your mobile number and mail address correctly because this is where you will be receiving your ticket and confirmation later on. Once you are done, click on sign up button at the bottom and your login credential will be sent to your mail account. Once you have the username and password, log in to isctc.co.in. Click on the login button here and you will be directed to this page. Now enter the source station and the destination station here. I will be traveling from Jaipur to Kota. Enter the date of journey. Now if you select an I ticket, then a physical copy of the ticket will be sent to you in form of a post select the quota if you want a emergency ticket 24 hours before the departure then you, you can select a tatkal quota and click on find trains in the next screen you will be displayed a list of trains between your route select the train you want to travel in and click on the class field in which you want to travel It will now show you a list of available train and the total fare. To confirm a booking, click on book now. Now you will need to enter the basic information like your name, age, sex and other information. If you are booking a Tatkal ticket then filling this information may take a considerable amount of time which can really cause a difference between booking a ticket or not. So there is an awesome workaround called Magic Autofill created by Mr. Amit Agarwal. I will leave the link to that in the description box below as well. If you are booking a ticket for your friend or relative then make sure that you enter their mobile number and not yours. Once you are done click on go button. Once you are done, just verify the details here and click on make payment button. Here we will be using net banking as our payment gateway. I have a SBI associated bank so I will click on the link SBI associated bank over here. Now simply log into your bank account and confirm the payment. You can enter the username and password here and click on the submit button. Just make sure that the amount is correct and click on the confirm button. Note that SBI banks also charge an addition of 10 rupees for IRCTC charges which are detected after one day or so. Wait for the transaction to take place and do not reload or close this page. If you do so then the transaction would be cancelled. If the transaction is successful, you will see your confirmation seat in the next screen. And as you can see over here, the seat has been confirmed here and your ticket confirmation will be sent to your SMS and to your mail account. For any reason, if you want to cancel a ticket, you can easily do so by going under your My Transaction and select Cancel e-ticket option. Enter your password and click on Go button.
Now select the PNR number in which you want to cancel your ticket and click on go for cancellation. The money will be revert back to your account from where you have made your payment and your cancelled ticket will be cancelled very easily. Well this is all for now. If you find this video useful, do share it with your friends over Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And yes, do subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. This is Brinal signing off and like always, thanks for watching.